fashion fever is upon us. And while the glamour of the week-long event lures the big names to Sydney's carriage works, behind the scenes, the industry is under pressure to change the way it operates. I do believe that the fashion industry is at breaking point. Um, I think it's because of the way that we have been producing, designing and consuming and not recirculating clothing. We have a big clothing waste problem. Each year, it's estimated that we'll buy 56 new items of clothing and a staggering 220,000 tonnes of clothing will end up in landfill. It's something that's prompted the Australian Fashion Council to partner with the federal government to create a new scheme aimed at reusing clothing and recycling old fabrics to make new designs. It's a practice known as circular fashion. Our aim is to fundamentally transform our industry and to do that we need to collaborate. No one can uh, transform an industry into a circular economy by 2030 and to net zero by 2050 if we work on our own. Fashion is about creativity, we don't want to stop that, but I think it's gone to a point where it's just about volume without quality being considered. It's a shift to a more sustainable business model that many high-end Australian designers have already adopted, like Bianca Spender, who aims to ensure no piece of fabric goes to waste. We have to actually carve out a, you know, real objectives around sustainability. We started with dead stock fabric, which is fabric that is um, over-ordered or oversupplied. And I said, OK, I'm going to start only with dead stock fabrics and then look at what I have and aim for 50% of the fabrics that I choose to be those dead stock fabrics. The designer has welcomed the Australian Fashion Council's initiative but says fostering sustainability in the industry can be a complex task. There is a lot of conversation about the waste in fashion and it needs to be approached on so many different levels. There are huge education pieces, there are huge reforms, you know, we really don't have any manufacturing capacities to recycle um, textiles in a large way in Australia. And while the fashion industry itself is trying to reduce waste, they agree educating consumers is key to its success. It is very hard currently for consumers to easily make educated choices about everything that they buy. We can tackle this, but we have to do it together.